Welcome to the library of video support for using the Jones and Bartlett Learning Cloud Labs. In this video, we will cover how to set up your course to get student lab reports. The user interface you see here is used in all the Jones and Bartlett Learning Cloud Labs. Let's get started. To begin with, it's very important to understand how the student creates their lab report. Here is the big black box of the virtual machine with the lab guide on the left. As the student makes their way on down through the lab, they will do various pieces of work, which I will not bother showing you here, but we'll assume that I'm actually doing these various steps within the labs. When they get to the appropriate place, they will be prompted to make a screen capture, as we have here in step six. All the student needs to do is click on that camera and take a screenshot. When that screenshot gets captured, the task will turn green, the lab guide progress will move forward, and the screen capture will be dropped into the lab report automatically for the student. The student can click on that camera again and review the screenshot. You'll see the screenshot with the name of the student, the date, the virtual machine being used, and the name of the lab. The student can drop in an optional comment and then save that screen capture. If the student doesn't like that screen capture, they can click on that camera and hit delete. So the student will continue making their way on down through the lab, performing the, the tasks as prescribed, and then take another screenshot as appropriate. Please keep in mind that we do not auto grade these screen captures. The progress bar simply captures the fact that the screen capture has been made. It does not, does not address accuracy of the screen captures. When the student is all done with the lab, they will leave the lab environment. I'm gonna disconnect here as if I had done that. And I'll come back to the launch portal. You'll now see View Lab Report. The student will click on View Lab Report. And they will see the lab report with all the screens dropped into place as appropriate. When the student has done all of the work that they need to do, they can output the lab report. That is done in the upper right hand corner here. Download Lab Report as PDF. Click on that icon. And that lab report will, and the PDF will drop into the student's downloads folder. That is the document that they will need to send to you as the instructor for grading. What we recommend you do is build a assignment within your LMS for each lab report that needs to be done. Lab one lab report, lab two lab report, lab three lab report. When the student submits the lab report to you within the LMS, then you can then correct that and grade it and give it a grade that will then exist within your grade book. We, know, we will point out that the sample lab report that we provide to you here within the lab or from instructor resources is your answer key. Each lab report is formatted in the same way with the student's name, email address, time on task, and the date of the lab report. And then each lab will have the, each screenshot will be dropped into place as appropriate. In this sample lab report, you will have your instructor guide and your corrected screens all dropped into place. So then you can do side by side for easy grading. Thanks very much for viewing this video. Other training videos are available in our library. Please feel free to browse the collection for other materials. Have a great day.